Hello you know, YouTube, here's another little clip on pipe making. Specifically, talking about drilling the long hole down the stem. As you can see, I've marked this stem with orientation marks. And the whole idea is that before I took the long drill bit, I used a regulation normal length drill bit and the idea is you remove the drill bit from the drill and get your eyeball in this position and have a look straight down the shaft at the orientation and you can see if it's going to go out to one side or another all right it's it's not rocket science it's a matter of getting the pilot hole perfectly aligned and then moving up from a 764th pilot hole to a 1 8 inch foot long drill. Okay, so let's see how we go with this. Hopefully, we get to make a movie as well as a pipe. Very important to keep the flutes from clogging. Going slightly, slightly off to what will be the pipe's left side like that from the top. Not a huge amount I can do about it, but I will try.
Ladies and gentlemen, stand to secure Tim Rosato, playing the French Suite Number no. Six in E, the WB817 by Johann Sebastian Bach. And to the Hewitt, playing all six. Canadian pianist Angela Hewitt has won a Classic FM. We return to one of the first three things we have. The stem itself is getting hot, as well as the drill. Let's you know when it wants to come out, doesn't it? Hot little drill. Using sweat from the hands as lube.
go. What you got there? Now, all that remains is to see where the drill has finished. So, we will see what we will see. The idea is to line the ruler up visually with no parallax distortion over the top of the drill and then extrapolate the drill center line to see where it actually finished up and in this case we appear to have a perfect nailing of the, well for want of a better word, the meridian, the centre line of the pipe stem. So, pretty pleased with that. And would you believe, bugger me, unless I've got my hand on it and I'm massaging the figures, and I don't believe I am, I've actually nailed the bastard in three dimensions. So this should be a good pipe. Right, now let's see if we can nail the holes. In theory, it should be easy. In practice, it always never is. In theory, we should get there first time. Bummer, now I'm going to have to go looking. Here's where the use of the 8mm spade bit comes in handy. Now we have interception. I'll try that again. Okay, so now I can carve a pipe. And on the next clip, I'll leave the camera running and see how far I can carve in 15 minutes. See, we've got a perfect union at the bottom of the bowl. Mind you, it's the fourth one in four days and each one's got successively better. So practice really does make perfect, especially when you haven't done something for five years, which is how long it was since I'd carved a pipe. Warbles on a lot to the YouTube Sculptors Guild. Onward to the carving. Ciao.